Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. To all of my new subscribers, a very warm welcome to you. So apologies if you hear a bit of rustling in the background. I am in beautiful, sunny Lagos, Nigeria. Um, this is where I'm from. I absolutely love being home. Um, but yeah, I wanted to film this video very quickly because it's very relevant to my stay in Lagos. This is the last day and I definitely will miss all the great food, all the sunshine, beautiful weather, um, beautiful scenery and all of that. But it's been a really interesting journey um, and my trip here has been very interesting as well. My job brings me to Nigeria, Ghana, I'd say West Africa quite a bit. I work with ultra high net worth and high net worth individuals and families. I essentially manage their wealth on their behalf. So I'm an investor on behalf of my clients. So I do get to enjoy the beautiful sunshine in Lagos or in Accra every now and then, or every month actually. Um, but I haven't been home for about two years uh, because of COVID. And in that time, a lot of things have changed. Uh, some positive, some negative, but you know, things have changed. And when I got to Lagos, this is the first time I've been on holiday in seven years in Nigeria. It's always been for work and I tend to visit quite frequently. So this is the first time I've been home on holiday in a while. I felt a little bit off being at home. I felt that, you know, without my schedule, I think I just felt very discombobulated and it was very surreal for me. So my original plan was to come on holiday and just rest, relax, you know, um, I'm here with a family member. So I was sort of acting as a, an executive assistant to him just to make sure, you know, his schedule was all uh, well and good. And, you know, he accomplished the reasons for which he came to Lagos. And in this time, I the original plan was to just come on holiday and just relax, as I said. Um, but I found myself being unable to do that because typically I would have a schedule, I would have my driver, you know, everything sort of all planned out. So I don't really have time to rest or reflect, if that makes sense, when I'm working, which is perfectly fine. I enjoy what I do. I enjoy the business. I love the scheduling. I, of course, love my clients, so it's never been an issue. But what I found was that on this visit, I spent quite a significant amount of time being uneasy and not resting and not having just a relaxed mind. And I started to think about why that is. Well, it turns out that there were several reasons why I felt this way, but I also thought about the fact that having come home after two years, there's some incredible things going on here. Um, I don't know if you know, but Lagos, Nigeria is sort of becoming, fast becoming um, a central hub for a lot of fintech companies, a lot of tech companies coming out of Africa. We've had some incredible uh, narratives and stories around unicorns and decacorns, and it's, it's all very exciting. But then I found myself thinking about where I'm at in life, where I think I should be, and not directly comparing myself to others, but also just the fact that so many amazing things are happening here. I started to think about the question, you know, what stage I'm at in life and whether my trajectory, my planned or foreseen trajectory is actually, you know, the right one. So you hear about really young people doing amazing things and even though you are accomplishing you know several awesome things and you've um, achieved a lot in your own stead and by your own merits and rights you still sort of feel or i feel that i haven't quite done enough um, and then i started comparing myself to those who are doing extraordinary things out here and it made me feel sad and i really felt like a dark cloud just descended upon me um, which completely ruined a few days of my trip. But then I started thinking about comparison and comparison being the thief of joy. So we tend to compare ourselves to others, but not necessarily because you want their life like for like, not because you want everything they have, you want to replicate their lives. I think it's the concept, for me at least, I can say that it's the concept of the happiness that they seemingly have perhaps might be lacking from my life 
And I find that this comparison only happens when I'm not feeling my best, when I'm not feeling happy or joyous. So it's typically when I'm sad or, you know, when I feel overwhelmed or I feel that, you know, all of these thoughts around where I should be, my trajectory, my plans, my ambitions, my goals. When I start to think about those things, I find that that's when I start making those comparisons. And it's not one person specifically, it's just, you know, it's being overwhelmed and in awe of people who are doing incredible things um, out here. So I started to think about the fact that it's not necessarily because I want to replicate their lives or I want precisely what they have, no. It's more around that illusion of happiness or the seemingly perceived happiness that their lives must hold. So you run a very successful fintech company out here or you have an incredible home fragrance brand out here so you must be happy that must be your dream come true and the irony is that the grass always seems greener on the other side but when you speak to some of these individuals they have the same setbacks i should say i don't want to call it insecurities but they have the same setbacks every now and then where they're thinking you know am i good enough some of these people are well accomplished and you hear their stories and you hear them sort of lament every now and then that they don't feel as accomplished as they are perceived to be and it's incredible um, i sat with someone similar who has done really extraordinary things here um, i don't want to mention the industry but very very successful individual who says well i i feel like a fraud i feel like an imposter right um and i found that extraordinary so i think what it taught me is that Yes, it's good to be challenged, it's good to be around people who push you, who make you want to be better, but it's also important not to compare yourself to other people. It's also important to remember that everyone has their story, everyone has a narrative, and sometimes we see the, um, what is it, the tip of the iceberg, but we don't see all of the hard work that's been going on in the background. We don't see all of that sort of um, figure, if you will, or structure beneath the seabed or beneath, you know, the sort of layer of the sea that you can see, the, the top of the sea. You don't see all of that that's holding this, the iceberg up. So for those who are super successful, you know, what we see is the end. We don't see their journey to get in where they are. And some of them are not necessarily happy because they still feel like there's a lot more they can do. And it gave me a lot of comfort because it just reminded me that most people are in the same boat and even though we don't intentionally set out to compare ourselves to others, it can happen. And in those times, what I've learned is to be very kind to myself, to take a step back, appreciate them for all they've accomplished, of course, yes, because you're inspired by that, but also to be kind to myself and to remind myself of all the things I've done, to remind myself that I'm part way through the journey, this isn't the end. And that brings a lot of comfort to me and it just reminds me to keep working harder, to keep going, working smarter as well. And yeah, it actually brings a lot more focus. So when I have my sobby and sad days where I, you know, I feel like I haven't quite hit my goal, um, when I remind myself of these elements, it just helps me pick myself back up and yeah, prepare for the next challenge. So I feel like after a few days here, I am definitely refreshed. I'm definitely ready to go back home, i.e. to go back to London, but I'm, I'm so glad that I visited home and I've seen what's going on here. There's lots of interest and opportunities here. Lagos really is amazing. The people here are just so vibrant. Life is never dull. So I've really enjoyed um, being here and it's time to go back home. I thought to take a little bit of a break from filming, so apologies that I didn't put out a video last week. I just wanted to enjoy my time being at home and also just experience and enjoy the break as opposed to you know filming and editing and all of that. So I do hope that this video has been helpful. I do hope that if you are feeling like an imposter or if you find yourself consistently comparing you know, your achievements to someone else's, bottom line is be kind to yourself. You will get there eventually with hard work, persistence and tenacity and it's just a matter of time. And this is why I always recommend as well, you know, that people speak to others who are perhaps accomplished or have done things that you yourself would like to do, just to understand their journey, to understand the challenges that they face, even as they are in success. And it just really helps you manage your expectations. It also helps you 
build emotional maturity and it just helps you become more focused in my opinion so that's it for this video i do hope it's been helpful if it has don't forget to hit that subscribe button click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos that's it from lovely sunny lagos nigeria look after yourselves bye for now